America is a nation of immigrants, and the labor movement has been a movement of immigrants too. From the beginning, attacks on immigrants have been attacks on workers. The same is true today. When a climate of terror is inflicted on workers in our communities and on our job sites, it's done to undermine people's rights, not just as human beings, but as workers. When families are being ripped apart and workers can't speak up, they're paid less or not at all. Wage theft and exploitation run rampant. Safety standards go down. In the construction industry and beyond, a shadow economy takes hold and the race to the bottom begins. When any worker, no matter where they're from, is forced to live in fear, contractors and employers cut corners, break the rules, and violate the law. We need strong unions to fight back against these attacks. As proud members of the International Union of Painters and Allied Trades, we know that we're strongest when we're united. We know that there's power in numbers. And we know that right now, more than ever, we can't afford to be divided. We won't let any worker or child be terrorized, not by a bad contractor, not by an unethical company, and not by an administration that has lost all credibility. We stand with all workers, no matter where they're from. The International Union of Painters and Allied Trades fights for workers. <laughs>